Well, a couple of weeks ago, I was driving my big truck. It's a diesel one-ton pickup. I've been driving it every day for a few years now. It's a really good rig. Uh, I haul cows, hay, equipment, uh, that kind of thing with it. And then uh, it's just a general good work truck. But I had to put a clutch in it, among other things, oil changes, those kind of things. It's expensive. Uh, just the clutch cost me 1500 bucks, And I realized I needed something that got around a little better. Um, I didn't need to haul as much as I used to. And uh, that was fun to drive, super cheap to fix. If something happened to it, it didn't break my heart, I could buy another one. You know, right now the market's so crazy, I can't hardly replace that big truck if something were to happen to it. Uh, so I started hunting around. I was on a shoestring budget. Well, more like Velcro, I tell you what. Um, I couldn't afford any Toyota or anything like that. Um, so I started looking at these Rangers. I've had a one, one or two in the past and they're good little pickups, especially for just good work trucks. They ride nice, um, they're comfortable. So I found this one uh, a few hours away. My wife and I went and picked it up for $2,000. And it had a, a pretty neat uh, homemade camper and then roof rack on it, which I don't have a lot of use for. So I actually sold that to a gal that was uh, somewhat local, as local as people get to me out here. And uh, she was really excited about it, which gave me almost $600. So I had only 1,400 bucks into this, not including, you know, registration insurance, that kind of thing. Um, but heck, that was already $100 cheaper than just the clutch in my big truck. Uh, the neat thing is, is it, uh, it was drivable. The kid drove it every day I got it from. Um, and so it's been, I've had to fix a few things here and there, but it's been, I drove it every day since I bought it. I actually, I took it on a six hour trip not too long ago and it, it did excellent. It came with fairly new Toyo tires on it, uh, and everything's been kept up well enough on it. First things I did was uh, checked everything over, tightened down some hoses that were leaking a little bit, the coolant, uh, changed the oil, and it has been an awesome truck. So I want to do a little bit of walk around, talk about what it's like to buy a $1,500 truck uh, nowadays, um, what kind of happened with this thing, maybe what to expect, uh, and the things I really like about it. And then uh, I'll take you for a drive and, and show you how she goes down the road. I am super happy with this. Well, since I got it, I've done a handful of little things to it just to make it my own and also to make it more comfortable and usable for what I do every day. I love that it has the original beauty rings and center caps on the wheels. <laughs> I like that kind of stuff. Uh, I replaced the dinky little flag mirrors, the plastic mirrors it originally came with, with these aluminum truck mirrors. Uh, they came on most Rangers, Bronco 2s, uh, F-150s of this era. You can get them at most junkyards. You can actually see out of these, which is a nice benefit. Uh, when I pulled the roof rack and the canopy off this, I built this headache rack out of a leftover truck rack uh, that I had laying around. I narrowed it up and put the uprights and the cross piece in it so I have something to tie to and also it protects my back window and the back of my cab for hauling long stuff. Makes it a little more useful of a pickup. Uh, it's got nice tie downs in the bed with it. Um, did some tinkering around to get door latches and tailgate latches working like they should. A pickup this old just has things like that. Um, yeah, as far as the paint goes, it doesn't uh, really impress. You can see it's got uh, what I call the faded racing stripes across it. But I honestly don't care much about paint. And I like this faded ugly red better than a lot of the gray scale cars that seem to be out nowadays. You go, oh cool, another white Hyundai. I really like that. I had tint in these back three windows, the old ugly purple tint that was peeling off. So a razor blade and a elbow grease got all that off and it's so much nicer inside. Uh, professional reupholstery, of course, by yours truly, uh, with a gas station blanket. Uh, the door handles, you see there and here, these pieces, they were all, they were long gone. This is just wood, sanded, cut, sanded, and painted, and then screwed from the backside. Done on other trucks like this before. Uh, it sure makes something nice to grab onto. Like this switch was missing, so this is just off of an old Dodge pickup parts truck I had that fit right on there. Um, the cool thing is, is it came with this headliner already done by the previous owner, so you know, riding in style. Uh, the radio, you know, it leaves something to be desired. It uh, is an old C, uh, cassette player that was just thrown in here that was never wired in. I don't know if I'm gonna put a real radio in it yet or just continue doing with the Bluetooth thing. There's not much on the radio nowadays. It's got the jump seats in the back and plenty of room for all my tools and stuff that just hang out most of the time, which is nice. Makes it really useful. The seat's super comfortable. It's a, uh, I'd rather have a manual four wheel drive shifter, but the electronic works great. They're pretty reliable. They're just, I like being able to grab a lever and shove it in gear. And uh, it had a pretty good dent um, right here. This whole side was caved in. You see a little bit of crease still. Um, it popped out fairly nicely. I mean, it's a work truck, so there's some wrinkles down this side, uh, but really with a little bit of dirt on it, you can't even tell. I, uh, I've loved this thing. I've been driving it all the time. 
I just love driving this truck. It brings back memories from when I was younger and when I had a Ranger in high school. Uh, it's really fun to drive, it gets around really well. I look back at it when I park in a parking lot, even though it's, it ain't much, it's just, I don't know, satisfying to drive something with this affordable and cheap uh, down the road where most people, uh, two months of payments is what this costs, you know, on their new vehicle. I, uh, I can't say enough about how well it drives, it's amazing. I had it on the interstate the other day and uh, there's a guy that went blowing past, so I got this thing out and stretched his legs. And, uh, the speedometer stops 85, but the uh, peg went down needle went down and, and just touched the dash clear down and it just stayed right there of course I backed off and, and but I kept up with traffic just as comfortable as can be one hand on the wheel it held it really well and uh, didn't have any issues at all no floating on the road nothing like that it could use new shocks but it drove great it gets around really good and uh, mountains are in town because it's before the mini trucks got so big this actually fits places and turns really sharp which I appreciate the seat is super comfortable. Like most Fords from the 80s and 90s, the seats are like the best part about them. You can sit in them for hours. In fact, I did a six hour drive in this the other day and it was comfortable, it was nice. Uh, no you know, back pain or anything like that, it did really good. I was even through a couple of blizzards, you know, in and out of four wheel drive and kind of crappy driving. And I was comfortable, warm the whole time. The controls are super user friendly on this thing. You've got your HVAC controls, just turn it on your blower motor and you can push the button for AC you've got the blend door for the temperature and the different vents you want to come out of. They're all cable driven, super reliable, and if they ever do have issues, they're super easy to fix, very straightforward. No computers control anything, no vacuum lines, none of that stuff. I really like it. Um, your four-wheel drive's right here, push, it works really well. Headlight switch, pull out for on, in for off. Uh, and then your multi-function switch, which does but everything, you know, your blinkers, your wipers, the mist spray, which still works good, and it's got intermittent wipers, which is super cool. Even my wife's newer Toyota, which is a really nice car, but it's a base model. It doesn't have intermittent wipers. It's got low, medium, high. And it's nice when you've got just a sprinkling to be able to set and forget and just let the wipers take care of it. And then a little bit faster as you need it, you know, it's almost, um, you can just set it anywhere you want to, which is super nice. I'd tell you what, a five speed is a must have in these trucks. They're gutless, especially with the 2.9. The automatics are just not very good transmissions. Half the ones for sale with autos, the autos are bad. These five speeds are, are pretty solid. Their uh, clutch is cheap and easy to do, uh, and you can get a junkyard five speed if you need to. But this one, it's a little loose. You can tell it forth, and there's some slopping inside there. Um, but the synchros are still pretty good. They have some wear on them, but there's no grinding, there's no noises. And uh, from what I can tell, this truck's got 260,000 miles on it um, with uh, no issues there. Uh, I just love this thing. I like driving it, and there's a certain pride that comes with driving these cheap old rigs uh, in an expensive modern world. Well, as you can see right there, it is a Lariat, which means it has uh, carpet and air conditioning, which is long gone. Anyway, I think this was a great idea. I don't see the reason to buy such an expensive rig. Uh, so many people are running down the road just from point A to point B in something that they are they spent 40 grand on or heaven forbid they're making payments on and they don't need that you know especially if you're a little mechanically inclined you can keep an old rig like this on the road a long time and at the end of the day you can throw it away and lose less money than the interest in paying on a new rig uh, you don't have a heart attack when it gets scratches on it. it if you get behind a little bit on maintenance or you don't even feel the need to repair it you know the right way maybe you can just make it work and safe and reliable for you and yeah it's not as pretty as some are but to me that's a perk to it i can throw rolls of wire in the bed i can throw my dirt bike in the bed uh snowmobile four-wheeler hay whatever it is i can just go i don't care about it um and that's what it's all about is the experience of life and not so much the rig you have to do it with right i enjoy this thing and that's kind of what I wanted to do with this video, is just make a point that you don't need to spend a lot of money. Even in this market today where things are outrageously expensive, a resourceful guy or gal can get themselves a nice little rig, a car or a pickup. Cars are easier to come by than this, a little car. Um, that'll still get you around, that'll get do what you need done, and that you can enjoy driving. That's not breaking the bank, that'll get you by for years to come. And that's what this is for me. I look forward to driving it all through the summer, even without AC.